may feel pretty comfortable with Adobe Illustrator keystrokes, but do you feel comfortable with actions? Do you even know what actions are? I like to think of them as keystrokes on steroids. So they're a way to take a bunch of different steps that are repetitive, complicated, whatever, and either share them with people or make them really easy to do. You can even tie them to a keystroke. So let me show you how that works. I have all these rectangles here. Today I wanted to grab these to group them, change the opacity and rotate them. So I'm gonna grab them. I'm gonna go into window actions, which brings up this window. New action, I'm gonna name it group uh, opacity rotate. So that's what I'm gonna do. Doesn't matter what you name it. I'm gonna tie this to F7 and you can either choose shift control or both if you want, you can't do neither. So I'm gonna go with control. This expands your keystroke functionality to include things with multiple steps that you customize, which is so fun. So everything after I hit record is going to be part of the action. So hit record. I'm gonna press control G to group them together and you see it shows up under here. We're still recording. I'm then going to change the opacity down to 55%, get rid of that. I'm gonna press R enter, which brings up our rotate rotate 45 degrees and then I'm gonna click stop and you can see all three of those things showed up under our actions those are the three steps so if we have that action highlighted and then we click on this next two we'll click play and we do the same thing it's awesome um, and then I also tied it to control F7 if you remember so I'll press control F7 and that plays the same thing. If you want to um, do it to two items, it will work, but as you'll see, the grouping and the rotation will apply differently because we have two uh, sets in this group. So if I do control F7, it groups all four of them and then rotates all four of them instead of just two of them. So we'll want to just do this one and this one in order to get them all rotated, grouped, and changed opacity. I find a lot of uses for this. Um, my biggest use, not my biggest use, but the time I'm most grateful for it is when I screw something up on 12, 15 artboards and I need to alter the text, alter some colors, do things like that, and I can create an action that I can repeat 15, 15 times that has all of those steps in it. So I think you, over time, you'll find the things that you're doing over and over and over again. Um, I use it a lot for vectorizing sketches, vectorizing um, calligraphy with our image trace tool. I have videos on how to do both those things if you wanna check them out. But this is a really, really, powerful tool and it's actually pretty simple when it breaks down and I'll show you um, this tribal mandala kit has a lot of different things in it so this uh, uses the ellipse tool graphic styles scale send to back more scaling we have rotating we have cleaning up set sh oh this one has a lot of things under it so cleanup patterns just has so many different set, uh, different steps under it. And all you have to do is click one button to do that. So you can purchase actions like this tribal mandala toolkit will help you create a mandala. It's got all these different actions you can apply. Um, and you can purchase actions that do things to your items in Illustrator just like that, uh, that are really powerful. And you can also then create actions that share that you can sell or share with someone else in Illustrator to give them access to your steps and your brain a little bit. So I think it's a really powerful tool and I hope you find it useful.